Diane from the Useless Crafter. So today I'm going to show you how to use Inkscape to do an offset. And by doing the offset, what we're going to do is we're going to have a hollowed out silhouette, basically shaker. So we're going to, I'm going to show you today the number 40. We're going to hollow it out so it looks like this, so that you can see through the middle. And so you can put your sequins and make it a shaker for your cupcake, cake, or even just a topper for your gift wrap. So I know I did this last time earlier this week for the letter C and it was, I was confused myself, but I needed to get it out for someone who just wanted to know how to do it and she had a deadline. So I quickly put it together, but this time around, it's gonna make more sense. So um, I wrote this out to kind of give myself notes, but also to give you notes. So what I ended up doing is I addressed a couple issues from the last time. The last time I did the letter C, the foam was so thin and so difficult to work with. So when we're doing the offset in Inkscape, normally I do 20 and 40 for most of my offsets. We're gonna do, um, we're actually gonna start with 60. The 30 layer, we don't need. I, I found that I didn't use it at all. But we're gonna do 60, 90, 120, and 150. I know, that's crazy, I've never done that much. But, so if you can see my 40, I made it kinda of small, so it's not like, um, let me see how big this is. It is about eight, eight inches wide. So you can see, I wanted just to make it so that I could show you what it looks like. Okay. So in this instance, this is the one to the right. It has three layers. It has the 150, the light layer is the 150, and then the red is um, 120, and then the 90 is the purple, and then everything else is hidden, okay? That's the acetate paper and the foam that's hitting, hidden that you won't see over here. I did this layer, and if you watch the putting it together, this is not enough. This is just, what you end up seeing is just two layers because um, this is gonna be the foam on the inside and the acetate paper. So really the only two layers you're gonna see um, is the purple and the red, and it just didn't look that good. So when you're doing this, you're gonna need three layers, okay? All right, so you ready to go into Inkscape? <laughs> All right, so here we go, Inkscape. So first thing you're gonna do is when you open this up, you wanna go to the text, and I used Feeling Sweet. I'm gonna do 40, so type in four. Now because we're doing our offset all the way to 150, you gotta hit the keyboard, a couple, the space bar a couple times to put in your zero. Otherwise what's gonna happen is once we get to like layer 90, they're gonna, if they're so close, they're gonna merge and we're gonna have an issue there. All right, so here's 40, click on the arrow key, and then we have this. What you wanna make sure is we wanna be able to see that while we're working on this. So lock up this shape and make it really, really big. All right, so this is our initial layer, okay? Go and click in this white space because right now the four and the zero, it's a highlighted piece, right? We can see this little rectangle around it. Click in the white space so that it's not selected. We're gonna hit the paint bucket and we're gonna follow the same color scheme that I did the first time around. So our first layer that we want is this light blue and we wanna do the offset at 60, okay? So there's 60. Then you're gonna click the arrow, click in the white space so nothing's selected, click on the paint bucket. My next color is this color, fuchsia. Okay, we're gonna change that to 90. So here's 90. Click the arrow, click the white space, paint bucket, my next color is red. And we're gonna do that at 120. So here's my four and my zero. It's starting to get really big. You can't even tell what number this is anymore, right? Um, okay, <laughs> click on the arrow. Click in the white space, paint bucket. This is our last color. And I think I did this color right here, this little peachy color. And this one's gonna be our last layer at 150. Okay, click the arrow, grab everything. I don't know, did that grab everything? Yeah. Um, go to path, object to path, and file, save as. 
and I'm gonna save that as 40 offset tutorial. So it's different than the other one that I practiced with. <laughs> okay, let's go into here. So this is design space. We're gonna to go to upload, upload image, browse. We're gonna find where you saved it, right? And so mine is 40 offset tutorial. Double click on it. Here it is, save. And then let's bring it in, insert your image. All right, so let's keep in mind it's gonna be the same as this. So I kind of layered it over here. What I ended up doing is our blue layer is our foam, right? So this, these are all the different layers. Our black is the original one. The green layer I did the first time around at 30 and I found I didn't need 30. We needed to start at 60. So our blue layer is 60. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the black and the blue and you're gonna slice it and that's gonna give you your foam. Then you're gonna take the black and the purple, and that's gonna give you the acetate and the top layer, this first layer that you're gonna see. Then you're gonna take the black and the red and you're gonna slice, and that's gonna give you the next layer, the offset, that's not attached to the shaker at all. And then our last one is the peach. You're gonna take the peach and the black and you're gonna slice it, and that's gonna give you this last layer, okay? So let's undo what we have over here so you can see what we did. And I'm gonna move this down because those are my notes, just so that we're clear. Okay, so ungroup. So that's our most back layer. And then it's our red. Um, you know what, every time we bring this down, Let's bring this to the back. Arrange, send to the back. Here's our red layer. Here's our purple. Um, you know, we don't have to do that. We'll just move it out of the way for now. Here's our blue layer, and then below that should be our black layer. Perfect. Okay. And then our black layer, you need to ungroup. Okay. So, we're going to use the black layer is what is the original that we typed out, and it's the one that we're gonna to use to slice everything, okay? So what you need to do is take the four and the blue, grab the two of them, align center so that it's centered perfectly, and then you're gonna slice. Then you're gonna take the zero over the blue one, same thing, grab the two of them, Go to align, center, and then slice. Okay, so let's move our black out of the way because our black is what we're slicing every layer with, right? Now that our slice results, we can get rid of. We don't need the inside of the blue four and zero. Okay, so this blue is going to be our foam layer, okay? So we're gonna put it aside. All right, so let's get our red, our, or our purple layer. Our purple layer is going to be our acetate and the top layer of our, <laughs> um, of our piece. So I'm gonna scroll up so you can see what, the, what I mean by that. Because remember, this gray is our acetate, so it's clear, you're not gonna be able to see it. And then the foam, is right there. The foam is being covered by the purple. So in fact, what I'll show you is I'm gonna move this to the front. Um, I need to ungroup it. Give me a second. So this purple layer, arrange, send to the front. See that purple layer is on top and then you have your acetate paper and then you have your red outline and then your peach outline, okay? So let's go back to what we have. So this purple layer, let's slice out our four and our zero. And again, you're gonna grab the two, align, center, and slice. Same thing with the zero. You're gonna grab the two of them, align, center, and slice. Okay move out our black because we're gonna reuse it to slice the next two layers, right? 
Now this, the hollowed out part, we don't need. So we can just grab these two and delete them. Now, the purple layer, our 90, is our acetate and our top layer. So this is our top layer, that's fine, right? It's gonna be that color, but we need to create our acetate layer. So we're gonna grab the two and we're gonna duplicate it. And let's just bring it over to the side. We need a top acet, we need two layers of the acetate because it's gonna be acetate, foam, acetate, so that it's like a hamburger. It holds our all our sequins in the middle, right? So on this one, what you need to do is let's grab the four, contour, and you wanna hide all because this is your acetate layer. You need the whole thing to be that clear paper to hold in our sequence, right? Do the same thing with the zero. So go to contour, hide all. And I always change my acetate layer to a gray because that kind of reminds me it's clear or you can use white, it's up to you. But in my mind, I always use gray, so I remember when I see it on my mat, I know that this is my acetate layer. You also know because it's not hollowed out. But anyway, you need a top and a bottom acetate, so you're gonna duplicate. All right, so we're just kind of building this right now, right? So we have this here. I'm just gonna put this here so you can see it. And it puts into the front. So you have your acetate on the bottom, your foam on the top, you're gonna to pour your sequins in here, and then you're gonna put this top layer on top and you're gonna close up that foam layer, okay? So that's what we have here. We've built that. This is our top layer, so it's gonna sit on top of everything, on top of our shaker. So you can't see the foam because this is sitting on top of everything. So the foam is covered, you can't see it and you're just gonna see the sequence in the middle, okay? All right, so now we're just doing the offset. So here's our back layer in red, same thing. You're going to grab the two, arrange, center, and slice. And you might as well just drop it here. This we can move over. Grab this zero, let's do the zero and the red layer. Grab the two items, align, center, and slice. And then just drop the zero into the peach one because we know we need it later. All right, then let's grab this layer. This is our final layer, we're almost there. Align, center, and slice. and this is my trash layer, basically. Let's grab these two, align, center, and slice. All right, so I'm gonna delete all this. We don't need the black. The black layer is just the original and will be used to slice, so we don't need that layer. So I'm gonna rebuild it for you right now, okay? So at the very back is gonna be our peach layer. What you wanna do is just put your, your peach layer down and you want them to overlap a little bit because we're going to weld this. This is our, this is the back and it's welded together, okay? This is the top, the front, okay? So if you put it here, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you grab the two and we want to center it horizontally. Oops, sorry, that's not what we wanted. We wanted vertically. <laughs> sorry. Okay, let's grab the two. Um, my head, okay, align, center vertically because we want it to be in the middle. Okay, you can weld it here. So you have your, your most back piece. And let's just change the color back so that we're not confused here. Okay, that's our backmost layer. And then let's grab these two layers and arrange, send to the front. It's gonna sit like that. 
Now when I did my zero, because it was such a small zero, I got rid of the middle parts. So it's just one big empty circle, okay? Okay, our next layer is our purple. Now our purple sits on top and is our first layer. Actually what's in the middle right here is going to be our acetate and our foam. So it's actually gonna be acetate layer that you can't see and then the, the zero. Then we're gonna put the foam on top of the acetate layer, which you can't see as well. And then the four, I'm just gonna move it over. You can't see that either. Then we're gonna close, you're gonna pour your sequins in, then you're gonna close it with the acetate paper. And then sitting on top is gonna to be your top layer. So arrange, send to the front. So when we're putting this together, Hold on. You're not gonna be able to see the foam layer, right? And the acetate paper is clear, so you're just gonna see your fuchsia layer, your red layer, and then your cream layer. So I have three layers there, and it's kinda of hard to see. All right, this was much, much better, right? <laughs> or I'm just gonna say it's much better. It was much clearer for me. So I will leave this here for you to see it one more time so you can see. Don't need to do the 30, you can start your offset with 60. I highly recommend doing all four layers it, because you only see three of the layers, the foam layer you don't see. So the offset, it really when you do the three layers, it's so much prettier, so much easier to see, and it just makes your project look more polished, okay? So you're gonna do 60, 90, 120, and 150. The black layer you're gonna throw away after you slice everything, and again, we don't need the 30 layer. All right, um, I think that's it. Oh, my only other tip is on the acetate layer, even though it is the Avery sheet protectors, I use, I have the maker, I use it on the cut setting of acetate, it cuts perfectly, um, and so you're gonna need to test it out, though it's gonna depend on your blade, and I know even though I have the maker, it should be uniform, it isn't. So just test it out, but that's the, those are the settings that I used. All right, thanks guys, thank you for being so patient. I really appreciated the comments on the letter C video where you guys said, hey, I love this content, but it was confusing. I totally was confused as I was recording it myself. And I appreciate that because then I went back and I really tried to make this um, more concise and more uniform and just, you know, step by step, this is what you need to do. So again, I really appreciate all the feedback because, you know, we're here just to craft in a much easier way and not be confused and do really cool things. So if you're confused or you need me to go back and do something, please just let me know because um, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. Have a great evening.